Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing the Module 5 Learning Assessment SAM Project 1A Excel Module 5 Working with Multiple Worksheets. Let's dive right in it. First, you're going to download the file, open the file, you're going to enable editing. So we're working with the Media Hub Consolidate Workbook Data. First, click on the United States sheet and then press on H1 and then hold down shift and press on the Australia sheet. Go to formulas and then press date and time. Scroll down to today, select today, then press OK. Next, you're going to go to home. You're going to click the magnifying glass, click find, and then you're going to type in science fantasy. Click on find all, type in science fiction in the replace with area, then press replace all. Press OK, close, and you're done. Next, select H5. You're going to use the fill button and drag it all the way to O5. Next, you're going to click on H6 and then go to Home. Press Cell Styles. At the bottom, click on New Cell Style and type in Subhead. Click OK. And now you have your new cell style. You're going to do the same thing with H8. And then just click cell styles and press on subhead. For this next step, follow closely. You're going to select H7 and then you're going to drag it all the way down to O7. Under the home tab, you're going to go to editing and there's a fill button. Click the arrow where the fill button is and then you're going to press on series. Keep the default and where the trend box is, press on it and then click OK going to repeat this method from H9 to O9. So select H9, drag it to O9, click on the fill, click series. For this one, you're going to check growth and then stop value is 1.03. Press OK. Next, you're going to click on the all locations sheet and then you're going to press on B6. The formula is equal sum open parentheses click on the United States sheet and then while holding your shift click on the Australia sheet and then press on B6 close parentheses and you're going to hit enter copy the formula in B6 so press on B6 go to copy and then you're going to drag from B6 to E11 and then go to paste click the arrow and then you're going to click on paste formula you're going to use this method again for B16. So click on B16, type equal, sum, open parentheses. Click on United States, hold your shift button, click on Australia, and then you're going to select B16, close parentheses, and hit enter. Copy the formula in B16 by pressing copy, and then select from B16 down to E21 and then go to paste formulas. Next, we're going to fix the formula in B22. So press B22 and right after the equal sign, type in round up, open parentheses, and then go to the end of the formula, type comma, zero, close parentheses, enter. Next, select B22, use the fill handle and drag it all the way down to F22. Then press enter. Now you're going to go back to Cengage and download the support file. Open it and select Enable Editing. Then you're going to go back to the original worksheet, press on F24, and you're going to enter Equal, and then press View, go to Switch Windows, click the Support file, and then you're going to press on F22. Then press Enter. Now we're going to make a chart, so select from A16, down to A21, hold the control button. You're going to select from F16 to F21. Go to insert, click on pie chart, click on 3D pie chart. Then you're going to drag the pie chart where the top left corner starts on B25. Then drag the bottom right corner and line it up with F40. And make sure you're precise about this process. Now we're going to be editing the chart contents. So click on chart title and you're going to name this Total Sales. Next, click on Chart Elements, which is the plus sign, 
and then go to data labels, click on the arrow beside data labels, and then select outside end. And then where it says more options on the bottom, click more options, and then you're going to select category name, deselect value, deselect show leader lines, and select percentage, close the label options, and open the number options. Here you're going to change the category from general to percentage, so click on the arrow and click percentage, and then decimal places should be one. And click the X, and now you're going to press on the mystery slice, the purple mystery slice, double tap it. On the right hand side you see point explosion, you're going to increase this to 8%. And as you can see, only the purple mystery slice should be sticking out of the whole pie chart. All right, next you're going to click on chart design, then click on add chart element. You're going to click on legend and then press none. All right, next click on page layout and then click on margins. At the bottom where it says custom margins, click on that. And then we're going to edit the top and bottom. So for top put 0.25 and do the same for the bottom as well 0.25 then press ok next you're going to select the ranges from a1 drag it all the way down to f41 go to page layout and click on print area and then you're going to click set print area now that's all done go to view click on page layout and then you're going to go to insert click on text then click where it says header and footer, and then where it says footer, click the arrow, press all locations, and then press OK. Then you're going to go back to view, press on normal. Next, you're going to click the plus sign next to all locations sheet to make a new sheet. Right click on the new sheet, and then you're going to press on rename, and then you're going to rename it sales comparison. Now we're going to be entering information in the new sheet, so click on A1. You're going to type in total sales, then click on the A column and you're going to put your cursor right between A and B and double click to auto fit the column. Next click on B1 and then you're going to enter equal sign, then click on the all locations sheet, then you're going to press on F22 and then hit enter. Now we're going to auto fit column B, so press on column B, go to home. And then you're going to click on format and then auto fit column width. Now you're going to go back to the all locations worksheet. You're going to select from A15, drag it down to B21, select control, and then you're going to select from E15 to E21. Next, go to insert and then you're going to click on insert column where the charts are. And then you're going to click on the first one, which is cluster columns. Next, click on the chart. You're going to click on chart design and then click on move chart where it says object in. Click the arrow and you're going to press on sales comparison. Then press OK and it's going to move the chart to the sales comparison sheet. Now you're going to drag the chart to A3. And that's it for sales comparison sheet. Now you're going to go back to the United States sheet. You're going to right click and then press on move or copy. And in here, first you're going to click on move to end. And then you're going to check the create a copy box and then press OK. Now you have a copied version of the United States sheet. So you're going to right click on this sheet. You're going to press rename and then you're going to name it new location. Here you're going to select the ranges from B6, drag it down to E11, and while holding down your control button, you're going to press on H2. With your mouse on H2, right click and you're going to click on clear contents. For the last step, go back to Cengage. You're going to copy the expected file name, everything before the dot, and then you're going to go back to your worksheet, go to file, click save as, and paste the expected file name, click save, and then go back to Cengage, upload your worksheet, and you should get a 100. I hope this video was easy to follow along, and if you have suggestions, leave it in the comments, and thank you for watching!